Hello everyone, this is Vincenzo and welcome to a new episode of Bone Cloud vs Bots. So in the last episode we have uh, beaten wait Nisha who is rated 900 and it is the second adaptive bot and in this episode we are going to play the first intermediate bot which is Emir rated uh, a thousand and he's a bot from Turkey who taught his kids how to play chess and hasn't lost the game to them yet see if you can show them how to do it okay let's show Emir how to play chess properly or not because we are playing probably the worst opening all time so okay we play as random in challenge mode and again we get the black uh, pieces so yeah i guess we we will have to play uh, the bone cloud as black for a lot of more games so we go e5 oh and by the way let me know in the comments if the bone cloud is always uh, e5 or e4 or it can also be f4 f5 and then king um, f2 and king uh, f7 let me know in the comments because i have no idea so we lift the king blocking the queen blocking the bishop yeah probably the worst opening uh, ever okay what do we do now maybe we go here f6 if emir takes we take back with the knight developing and then we uh, have a square for the king although it may look scary but let's try okay emir doesn't take so i guess we take and wow uh, bishop e3 and then bishop back to c1 so let's take the center let's develop and now we are already much better here so let's go here we can even push more oh wait i just blundered here i pushed but the queen was here and this move was possible because the knight is pinned so i just blundered okay uh, we have to slow down and now this is a common mistake going um bishop here or wherever attacking the queen and then you realize that you are not defending this pawn anymore and you lose the pawn so yeah it is a common mistake uh, however even if emir takes the pawn we develop and we are fine we have uh, a lead in development development but instead let's go um c5 to put the knight here okay and i lost uh, this pawn but i want to move the king anyway so in case white takes i move the king there are no more checks and now the bishop is open to attack the queen i'm not pinned uh, anymore i can move the rook i can move the queen so it will be uh, very nice for us okay can we just uh, push maybe let's put the knight on, on before okay and emir see, sees the threat which is knight take uh, takes c2 check with a fork on the on the rook and he defends okay oh and by the way this does not lose a knight because 
I move the king and the knight is defended. Okay, what do we do now? We want to open the position, I, I believe. So, yeah. How do we do it? Maybe we go here. Maybe we, we go here. It is less passive. It attacks the bishop. The bishop goes to c1 again. And now let's keep developing. Now we can actually attack the queen. And wait a second. Can we trap the queen? If we go here, the queen cannot take. But can go here, but has just one square. So can we cover this square first and then trying to to trap the queen? Let's see. Now we go here. Okay. And Emir saw uh, the the threat, which is attacking the queen, but by moving it, we um, we cannot yet. Um, attack the queen because this knight is hanging with check so why don't we just move the king now the knight is defended the queen is completely uh, boxed in and now we attack and we win a queen okay um, oh, uh, this was a very nice move because if I uh, take they take our queen but then we can win a piece, so it's fine, I think. Uh, and if I do not take the pawn and move the queen, let's say, here, then the queen can escape. So let's take the queen. Now let's centralize the knight, or even taking here, and we win a pawn. And actually, material is equal believe it or, or not so let's go here attacking the bishop the bishop uh, retreat wait a second did I actually missed mate no because this move but now that the bishop retreated I think that this is checkmate yeah okay very nice mm. 21 moves uh, win as black against a uh, uh, 1000 rated bot so let's check the game review and and see where we we play wow uh, we play that 58.2 accuracy which is very bad uh, we still won but i think that some of these blunders are because of the king on e7 so le let's see yeah we played two great moves here we blundered the advantage from minus minus eight to plus one so okay that was a, a serious blunder okay d4 e5 the england gambit many of you uh, will know this gambit and we go here and as you can see this is the first blunder and white is already plus three okay this move was good and taking was good that was a, a loss of tempo we take the, the center we develop now white now develops we we attack the queen and this was a blunder okay and i saw the this move uh, this blunder afterward because this is possible actually you cannot take uh, the queen because of the pin so a uh, loss of a pawn we check luckily uh, emir didn't see it and moved the rook and okay i i know i am this is a mistake i tend to play the this mistake often because I simply like to take more space to be honest but uh, being more solid here is better because we have a king uh, on a dangerous 
uh, square so it is better to be more solid and not open the, the position so this was a good move and now okay well I'm surprised to see that this was best of course this was the only response to, to the threat and this was a great move and I'm happy to see it because it attacks the bishop and defend uh, this pawn so we can move the bishop yeah and it is a good move overall and okay here it, uh, it was another mistake so the engine wants to go bishop um, d7 then e3 oh, okay wait I missed something because if we go here I thought that um, white can just go here oh, okay yes we trade queens but then we win the, the rook so yeah I missed it okay instead I prepared uh, this idea which was a blunder I'm very surprised to see it yeah, oh yeah <laughs> it was a blunder because uh, it loses the, the knight so and wait if I move the queen is attacked and oh, okay and it can go to b5 offering a trade of queens yeah okay um, not a very good uh, move there losing a piece instead uh, yeah here you see that um, bots are very strange because probably a 1000 rated player would have seen the hanging piece we check uh, we move the king which was a great move okay here the engine wants um, c4 and now uh, I see why because uh, if we play c4 the queen is still trapped and instead if I go um, bishop d5 attacking the queen which I did they can play this move which is very a very nice tactic and now yeah I can move the the queen I know but they save their queen so I prefer to trade queens against these bots, trade everything, and then here it was a blunder. I'm happy that I saw mating one because I played uh, not a very nice game, but yeah, we won in 21 moves, and Emir played at 35.6 accuracy. So not a very good game but it is still a win and next time we are going to play Sven who's rated 1100 so yeah I hope you enjoyed the video if you did please leave a like a comment and if you haven't already please consider subscribing because we are very close to 400 subs thanks for watching and see you in the next video